Okay, so editor token color customization. This setting overrides editor colors and font style from the current selected col color theme. And this actually pertains to the syntax, syntax highlighting. So you have two options here. You can um, change your syntax highlighting. For example, you can just press control space to see what's available. Let's ignore these first options that start with the square brackets first. And I'll show you what that looks like later. So let's, um, let's go for strings, for example, because we have a few strings here. And we want to change this to, let's say, green. If we save this, we, we're changing strings to the color green in any theme that we have in VS Code. If we change themes, strings um, are still going to show up with this color, right? Now, um, if you just want to edit a particular theme, you can select it here. So the default VS Code theme is default dark plus. And then you can come in here and you can change the colors of uh, strings just for this theme. Now, if we change theme, we won't be getting red strings anymore because this rule is only being applied to this particular theme. So you can do uh, both things. You can set like general uh, rules or rules that only apply to a particular theme. This is going to be useful later on when we install the um, Cobalt 2 theme by West Boss. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it empty and uh, we'll talk about it, uh, about this whole theming thing uh, in its own playlist.